Hi everyone and welcome to talk to the expert at property-investors.co.nz Today we have with us Anne Needham from Rennie and Cox Urban Legal in Auckland. They also have a new office now in Devonport on the North Shore. Anne is a legal senior executive specializing in residential property investment and residential property as well uh, over 30 years. She is also a justice of the peace in New Zealand. Welcome to this interview Anne. Thank you, Hedda. We would like to talk to you today about uh, the process of purchasing a property in New Zealand and uh, what uh, due diligence should the purchaser cover within the time frame. Thank you. Yes, very, very important uh, to do due diligence. Uh, the first step once you've located a property that you want to purchase is to enter into a legal contract agreement for sale and purchase for the purchase of that property. As lawyers, we do prefer to cite any agreement before it's signed to make sure that uh, you're adequately protected and that all of, all of the bases are covered. Um, we look at uh, the contract conditions. Uh, my preference is quite often to have a uh, wider ranging due diligence condition, uh, other conditions that are commonly included, uh, there's finance, uh, building inspection report and LIM. Uh, notably the latest proposed form of ninth edition of the Agreement for Sale and Purchase now proposes as well as an inbuilt LIM condition to have an inbuilt building inspection okay. uh, report condition. So that will be coming out shortly. Um, in terms of signing the agreement, once we're happy that we've got the, the form of agreement right, which is, which is quite critical because that's the base legal document we'll be working with going forward. Um, in terms of getting it signed, again, are we talking global, um, potentially, or, or even just nationally within New Zealand, that can be signed by the parties in person, uh, or by fax, or by email. Uh, but as I say, very important to get legal advice before it is signed. Uh, the purchases due diligence conditions that uh, you would want to carry out include a lot of things. We, as lawyers, would check the title. There's different kinds of title uh, in New Zealand, um, including freehold titles, um, unit titles or strata titles, um, the odd leasehold titles. So we have a close look at that. Uh, finance approval, make sure that you've got the um, level of finance you need on, uh, for a purchaser. Um, and on terms and conditions that are acceptable to a purchaser and I am talking in terms of um, purchasers conditions mostly at the moment. Um, the um, LIM or Land Information Memorandum, it's important to get uh, all of the information you can from the local authority uh, and again uh, we look at that and report on that. Accountants advice, important to get uh, in the event that, um, particularly in the event that you are an investor, uh, to make sure that uh, all of your tax uh, requirements are covered and um, dealt with. Building inspection report, as I've mentioned, and also if you're planning on renovating, you would need to get quotes uh, for uh, what it was going to cost you to renovate that property and also be sure that you had access to the property in between uh, what's called unconditional settlement if you needed it to be able to do um, renovations if that's what you required. Yes, it is also recommended if possible uh, to obtain a copy of the property file which uh, here in Auckland um, in various other parts of New Zealand you can uh, purchase it online and uh, you can receive it on a, on a CD, on a disc. Um, Sometimes there's uh, old and information there which plans, floor plans and various things which uh, could be helpful if you uh, want to obtain as much information as possible like building consents in details and various things which are very important. Um, I'd like to add that um, when you, when a purchaser, uh, prior to deciding uh, which entity or private, prior to forming the entity, um, th this is obviously a, a different uh, area with more uh, to do with uh, an accountant. If there's GST component involved, uh, there's always an option to put uh, a purchaser's name and or nominee, which is something that will give you some flexibility prior to settlement to decide which uh, legal entity will be uh, the end ownership. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for this great interview. Thank you very much.